This video will provide a demonstration of creating a news article. In Cascade, select your news folder. Articles are stored in a folder by the year and month they were written. Select the current year and month. In the toolbar, select New, Pages, News, News Article. As always, system names are lowercase no space and should be descriptive. I'm going to switch to an article that I already started in order to save time. The display name and title are generally the same. The display name shows up in the breadcrumbs and the title is the title of your article. The summary text should be a short description of the article. Highlight the main point and provide a teaser so that a person will want to read more. This is what shows in the summary on the listing page. It should be no more than a couple of sentences. Keywords are what brings readers to your page when they do a search. Any words in the title or body of the article will automatically be used in search results. You only need to add words here if there is a topic that is not included. An example would be if you write an article about Picasso, but never use the words abstract art. You would want to add abstract art to keywords. You must have a start date in order for your article to be published. Generally, this is just the current date. If you're writing an article that can't be live yet, you can put in a future date to ensure that your article is not accidentally published. When you get to that date, you will still need to publish your article to the database and to the live site. These next sections are where we choose our category tags. The tags determine what pages your article will display on based on filters that are created. I'm going to choose theater and art. And arts at Miami. In the column layout, you can choose between thin wide and thin wide thin. You can add a subheadline in your article if needed. You can add a banner image to your news article. The dimensions for a news banner are 728 by 400 pixels. The image must be edited and uploaded to Cascade before you add it to your page. It's best practice to create a separate subfolder for news article images in your images folder. You must add alt text for your image, but keep in mind on a news page that this is also a caption that displays. Add the article content under page content. This works just like a regular universal page. Auto link text is always left no. You can add a Facebook thumbnail if you intend to pull your news article into your Facebook feed. You can add a news listing thumbnail if you want an image in the summary of your news listing page. This is highly recommended to add interest to the summary. Most articles will remain on the news listing page indefinitely for historical purposes, and you'll just leave this blank. If you have an article that you do not want to display on your listing page, after a specific date, you can put in an archive date. After this date, the news article will no longer appear on the news listing page, but will still be searchable in the news archive search. The rest of the page functions exactly like a universal page template. You can add widgets in the left or right column. The widget row is not an option on the news article. You can also add a feature box, YouTube video, and related links. When finished, make sure you click Submit to save your work, and your article is ready to be published. For news articles, you will publish them to two places. Since we're testing, we're going to publish to our CCA test site and also News Database Test. The News Database is the server that sorts the articles and makes them appear on the correct listing pages according to the filter and how the article was tagged. When the article is ready to go live, you would then publish to your live site and to your News Database live site.
Since this article is published, we'll be able to view it on our testing page. So here is our summary with the image that we added and the summary text. If we look at the theater news page, we'll see that this article is also here. If we look at a different filter page like music, the article's not there. Something that's very important to keep in mind when working with news articles is that if you want to move, rename, or delete an article, you must unpublish it first. This does not happen automatically. If you don't unpublish it, then it's still going to remain on your summary page. To unpublish an article, you would mark the proper destinations choose Unpublish, and click Submit. And when we go back to our test page, the article is no longer there. This concludes this video.